Hi and welcome to Makeup Mug Womp. My name is Leanne. Thank you so much for joining me. It has been too long since we last sat down together and did some makeup. So let me update you on the life and what's been going on and let's do our makeup. So we're going to do actually, it's going to be a different kind of look today because I am not wearing any eye makeup because I got LASIK eye surgery three weeks ago. So mm, shirt is not today, Grendel. Um, shout out to all my literature geeks out there. So um, got LASIK eye surgery. I wasn't one of the lucky people that could open their eyes four hours later and see everything miraculously. I have heard nothing but wonderful things about LASIK. I took longer to heal and I also got monovision surgery. So one eye, uh, two different prescriptions of laser surgery. I got um, one eye lasered for reading up close and one eye for seeing far away. Um, I tried out contacts to make sure that that would work for me and it did. Did I wake him up? Did I wake you up? I was trying to be quiet because it's early on a Saturday morning. I might have woke him up. Anyway, let's put in some, this is AOA Studio Pore Filling. I've already done my sunscreen, which I have had two sessions of BBL, which is like an IPL, but a little bit fiercer. <laughs> we can talk about that too. But when I came out of my LASIK, it was, I'm still needing readers for up close and for my computer at work. There is a possibility, even a probability that that will not be the case forever. Some people, some people's prescription or their eyesight, sorry, can improve even as far away as a year after LASIK. So I'm hoping, I, I do have really good vision now, which is amazing. So I think it's 2020 in one eye, 2015 in the other. However, I read, well, I work a lot on a computer, work many hours a day. And then after work, I typically want to read. And so my eyes are put through the ringer every day. <laughs> it's a daily thing. So it's going to be a little bit longer healing, which is okay. I'm all right with that. Um, but I don't think that I was, that I thought that it would be the outcome that it was. It's fine. It's cool. But we're here. So because of the LASIK for a month afterwards, you can't wear any eye makeup. So I have not been wearing any eye makeup. So I'm gonna do the look that I do. I'm sorry. I woke you up. Are you gonna, you wanna get up? Or you wanna go back to sleep? I think I wanna go back to sleep. Okay, are you okay if I do a video? Sure. Okay, All right. do you wanna go to Barnes and Noble? Or you want me to go by myself? It's fine. You're not gonna open the tent though, right? Right? I didn't look. I'm okay. I can also go to Targets. <laughs> Listen, what do you mean eight? It's already eight. What time is it? Yeah. You don't gotta get up. You snuggle bunny with a doggy. I'll cut this out, don't worry. I won't. We know when you're done with your video. Okay, it won't be long, but yeah. okay. So anyway, so no eye makeup. So I've been doing um some makeup. 
and so I'll, let me just let me just do it for you um some new things some not so new things this is a not so new thing this is um the mac studio fix tech their cream to powder this um this has been through the gig y'all so don't jump scare coming um we're almost done uh in w10 so and this is look if you came here for professionalism go ahead and scroll on I use a dry sponge. This is the most <laughs> disturbing thing. But you know what? It is what it is. It's fine. And actually, I lied. I've been using a concealer before. I use um, face makeup. And I have two new ones. And I should do a haul. But I should also do more, anything for YouTube because I haven't so long. So let me show you my two new concealers. One's from She Glam. It's their... See, and this is a problem I can't see. Um, I, st I still can't see with these with these readers on. I still can't see. It's this Rapid Retouch Cream Concealer in Pink Pearl. That's her. And then this is the brand Pink Camo. I got this from Beauty Bay. This is their upside down. This is their Pink Camo Concealer. Or take cover. I don't know. There she is. Let's hold them up together. She Glam Pink Camo. And I just picked up one or the other, whichever one is, I don't know, near my hand at the time. And used it underneath my eyes. After the surgery, I had some way more darkness under my eyes. I I'm going to use the Pink Camo today. And just touched it lightly. I've not been able to touch my eyes or get any water in my eyes in any way, shape, or form. Which is wild because I'm usually like spraying my face with water, dunking my face in water um, when I wash my face. And I do that at least twice a day. I double cleanse and all that. It's been really weird to not have water on my face in that way. Like... I'm washing my face, but using just a, like a washcloth instead of splashing water on my face or spraying water on my face or standing in the shower with the water running over my face. You can't do that. So that was different. I, I don't know that I knew that going in, um, but it was, it's a thing. Okay. Now onward. Okay. Dry sponge. Disturbing. Yes, we know. So the BBL, which is the face laser, it's not the other kind of BBL. Thank you very much. Um, I, I did, I've done two sessions of that at my local meta spa. And the nurse does it. I think I talked about the first session when it happened on my channel and I get ready with me likely because that's how I rolled around here but it is the second session was no different than the first uh it was shorter for sure because I had less to take care of I think I am going to do a third time but it'll be a little while before I go back just because life is gotten nuts I can't let's see I feel like there's not yeah whoa that's too much okay now we've got a problem when I go back I'd like to do there's two different well there's a few options of lasers that you can use I would like to do the redness laser on my chin and like butterfly section here and then some more brown laser on the dark spots that are still, the sunspots that are still there. Okay. It's not perfect, but it'll work. I am using this up this year and I don't know if I'm gonna make the year or not, which is wild because I thought that that would be a relatively easy thing to do. I was wrong. I've been wrong before. Again, I'm gonna do nothing around my eyes because 
I shouldn't, so I'm not gonna, but it is tolerable, I suppose. Okay, one product that I have really liked, I mean like super duper liked, is the new Sydney Grace Mineral Foundation. Did anybody else pick this up? For their Christmas in July, which they do every year, they do a mystery bag and they do um, some new releases. And this year I did get my mystery bag. I'll, I will do a video and show you what came in that for me. Um, and the day that I purchased, the deal was a free palette if you spent above a certain amount and their new brand new mineral foundation would be half off. So I believe it's, it retails for $18 for this big old jug of mineral. Uh, and it was $9 and I said, Doink, I do like a mineral foundation. Some days I have not used the MAC foundation. I've only used this mineral foundation instead. And it has been beautiful. I love it. This is an e.l.f. powder brush and I really enjoy the way that this looks. The finish of it is so pretty. I have I have used Bare Minerals in the past, uh, the loose version as well as pressed, and I also enjoy that. This is very, very pretty. The shade that I have BU2. So again, some days I would just use this and some days I would actually use the MAC. It sort of depends on what I've got going on that day. So I've been missing not only because of LASIK and things, but also because of work. I have been very much overwhelmed at work. And some of y'all who have been here for years um, know my work kind of fluctuates in intensity. Um, I've been through now four acquisitions. My company has been purchased four times and in the last five years, which is a lot, but we're pretty good at what we do. And so we just keep getting bought, which is great. But also it's a lot of change and work whenever you get bought. There's a hair somewhere. I see you, you piece of trash. Oh, it's still attached now. <laughs> okay, so I've been, while I talk and chatter, you remember I was trying to use this up? This is from the Dollar Tree back when it was only a dollar. It's the Beauty Benefits Pressed Powder. It's not a bronzer, but I've been using it as a bronzer. It's by Mark Wins, which owns Wet n Wild and Black Radiance. Um, and I have, I have been killing it. But it's really orangey, and today I don't necessarily want really orangey. But again, trying to use that up this year. I don't know if it'll happen or not, but it's been working. When I don't want really orangey, the one that I've been using is my W7 Hollywood Bronze and Glow which was a gift from one of y'all. Thank you so much. Um, this is gorgeous. It's supposedly a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. I don't have the Charlotte Tilbury, but this is so pretty. It is beyond pretty. Like I, it's stupid how, how pretty it is. I would never buy the Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury. I would just repurchase this one. It is so pretty. Can I say it again? It's so pretty. So we had an acquisition um, at work. And so we are going through like our email addresses are going to change and we all get new computers, but it also, the acquisition caused, I'm going to blend, caused the relationship with the client that I work on to be, uh, it, that also has to change. So some security templates are going to change. Um, a lot of reprovisioning has to happen. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry. It just means a lot of mess is happening and I am the person in charge of the mess. <laughs> so it's a lot y'all. <laughs> it's a lot of energy, uh, brain bandwidth. I am constantly tracking multiple things mentally at once 
to ensure that we don't have a debacle or a dumpster fire, you know? And it's a lot. So I haven't been, I've just been working, sleeping, and kind of doing the bare minimum of lifing while trying to remain healthy <laughs> and still maintaining some relationships in my life. So it's been hard, like really hard. This is my Tarte uh, party with all the A's blush that we all got for our birthday that year at Sephora. If you notice, there's dust and pieces everywhere because she's breaking down, friends. But she's like the most beautiful, like everyday neutral pinky blush. It's so perfect. Um, and I've been inspired by one of the Thai boys I follow on Instagram. He's one of my favorites. He's probably my favorite. Kuhart, C-O-O-H-E-A-R-T, Kuhart. Um, his blush is higher. Um, it's, it's, it's kind of e-girl, you know, it's, it's higher and usually straight across. And I've been really liking that look. So I've been doing that look <laughs> when I do wear makeup. Some days I will only put on bronzer. Some days I will only put on blush. Um, it just depends. Mostly it's been blush and not bronzer, but I do really like um, when I have the time, today is Saturday, that I put on bronzer because I really like how it also looks. It's one of my favorite things. Let's do that Hollywood um, Bronze and Glow Highlighter. It's just, it's a pretty champagne -y gold and it is, you can't see it dead on. Um, it's not dark, but it's really, really nice. So there's that. It's really pretty. It's not my favorite highlighter, but it's here. Um, and I rarely am putting on highlighter these days. Like, I don't have a single highlighter out. Um, if I use that one, then I will sometimes use that highlighter. Sometimes I don't. But it's a thing. Um, another blush I've been absolutely adoring is the Romand, um, that milk, one of their milk versions. I can't remember which color it is, but it's it looks like nothing in the pan, but it is adorable on. I love it so much. Um, I like it a lot. Ooh, hair. Okay, so I've been trying to use, it's not going well, my Beauty Powder in Play It Proper from MAC in the Trolls collection that is forever old. It's It hard pans when you look at it, y'all. And so I haven't scratched it recently. See it? It's terrible. Let me scratch it now, just because we're here. Let's do it. I know, this is like, why are you going through this? Because I do, this is how I roll. I can't stand it. I'll just take a spoolie. This one's forever old. And I'll scratch it so that some powder comes up and then we're good to go. And then we have too much. So because of LASIK, I can't spray, um, like setting spray. I, I really can't afford for anything to get into my eye while it heals. Uh, so I haven't done that. And I miss that step a lot. So, and I don't, I don't necessarily think it's because of the longevity of my makeup, even though I'm sure it does help with that. It's because I want it to kind of take away the makeup-y, powdery look if I have over powdered or whatever. Um, I miss that part, so that's sad. Also, being able to use like a, any kind of spray on my face before I start my skincare. I love spraying my face with toner or whatever. I love it. So, that's been sad. That, um, that's the base. I will use my, this thing is, I probably need to just retire it. The Milani Stay Put, and I think it's medium brown. Um, it's just a brow gel. It's got a wonky, um, wand. I just turned the wand on its side and brushed through just to get the product on. I have not been using any pencils, any pomades, nothing. Just this and smearing it where I shouldn't because why not? Why not? Okay. 
And then the the last thing is lips. I I mean I have no mascara. No nothing. And that is really hard for me. <laughs> I'm on week. I think this will be week four. And I hate it. Like I don't I I want to do at least mascara. Like it's bad. Uh, so just beware. That's the thing that you're going to deal with after LASIK. Nobody talks about it because it probably doesn't affect anyone as much as it would affect us. But it's a thing. <sighs> Ooh. Oh, I've been using this. I don't know if I want to use it today. Yeah, I'll use it today. Uh, I pulled it from the depths of the lip junk drawer. Um, I don't know what the brand is for this. Is it Incredible? It's this chili infused plumping whatever. It does not, it doesn't plump. It doesn't feel, it's not spicy at all. Like at all. Um, and I believe I got it from Ulta. It comes out really goopy. So I scrape it off. Like if you, you don't need what comes out on the doe foot. Don't, don't do that to yourself. And I put a little bit on and I'll scrape it off again. She thick. She had thick gloss. But pretty, right? I don't know. I think it's because she's so thick that I didn't really wear her. But she stays because she's thick. Not sticky, but thicky. <laughs> Sorry. Have you missed me? <laughs> um, so, let me tell you. Oh, I've got powder on my shirt. Of course I do. <sighs> I'm going to try. I'm going to really try to film something sometime. I have a couple work trips coming up and I have not bought hardly anything. It's been that crazy, like really crazy. And so I'll do my best. I'm not gone. I don't ever want to go because I love this place. I love our space. I like how we do this and I love hanging out with y'all. And you're my makeup people because in my real life, nobody geeks out about makeup like I do. So you're my people <laughs> to geek out with about makeup. But I do want, I do want to be able to give energy here. So fighting. Let's try it. Um, thank y'all for hanging out. Like, so much. I needed this. I need y'all. And I appreciate you. This is, this is a part of me that I don't want to give up. So I'll do my best. But hopefully we can put on eyeshadow soon because it makes me sad that I can't. <laughs> but soon. And very soon. So let's hang out again soon. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Let's hang out and be friends. I got lots of old videos you can go watch. That's great. Uh, and hopefully soon some more me and you. Thanks so much. I'll see you soon.